Okay, and here we are at the final session of the writers for the Natural Shocks project. Uh, and we're going to start off with Helen. And I'm going to ask you some questions about how you felt writing this, the third draft, before you go on into writing the final draft for delivery at the beginning of May. And Helen, you've had Hamlet. Mm -hmm. So if you could tell me, which would be really good, is uh, what was the biggest challenge for you using the Shakespeare scene as your writing trigger? I felt really surprisingly that my biggest challenge was actually not writing in Shakespearean language, that I read through what I'd written and then the first draft that I did was all these and nows and hasts and all the rest of it, and it was knocking it back and taking it into a, a more up-to-date modern language. Mm -hmm. That's the bit. That's great. And how do you think the, the overall project has helped you develop as a playwright, do you think? The bit that I've been, found most benefit from was, was learning how to work as part of a team. Um, that it's not just the writers that you have to take into account, the actors, the producers, the directors, and actually finding how the whole thing fits together, not just me as a writer, has been really useful. So okay. thank you, Ali. <laughs> thank you. Okay, and over to Phil. Okay, so Phil, you had King Lear. So, okay, what was the biggest challenge for you then, working with a Shakespeare for a trigger for a play? Um, I think it was probably taking what was rather a a surreal and, to me, unbelievable scene and trying to move that into the modern day and make it a bit more um, realistic, if you will. Mm -hmm. And how do you think it's helped you to develop as a playwright? What skills do you think you've acquired during the project? I think it's been very useful getting feedback um, from the other members of the group and then thinking about those and seeing why there were improvements and then, and then implementing it. Okay. Great. Thank you. And uh, Colin if you'd like to tell us. What was the biggest challenge for you working with your Shakespeare piece? You had a piece from Much Ado About Nothing, didn't you? Yeah, I think transposing it into a modern setting and uh, keeping the same theme going from the original piece. Mm -hmm. And what about development as a playwright? How do you think it's helped? Um, it's helped me because I've had to respond to reams of notes and then cutting out my favourite bits. <laughs> And that's helped you. That's yeah, you've, you've killed your darling. Not not yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, thank you. Uh, Neil, if you'd like to tell us, what, what was the biggest challenge for you, do you think, with your Shakespeare trigger? So you had Henry the VI, part three. Yeah, I think the biggest challenge I had was that it was obviously one of his history plays, um, which I'm, I'm not familiar with Shakespeare uh, in the history plays. I, I sort of know most of the, the tragedies and the comedies, but I've never di dipped into the history plays, really. Um, so that was, in a way, is also how it's helped to improve my writing because I had to do quite a lot of research to establish the backstory of the Shakespeare play, which is then fed into the writing. So that whole process of going through the research, not just of the Shakespeare text, but also the historical research of the Wars and the Roses and so on, um, has, has been a, an interesting um, development which I haven't done with other writing. And also working to a very tight uh, 10 minute time frame has been um, a stretch because it's, there's a lot of story I want to tell in very little time. So I've had to really tighten the writing up a lot, which I think has been a, a good thing. So do you think that's, that's what's helped you develop your skills as a playwright then? Yeah, yeah. I would say so. Yeah, I think, I think that both, both the, 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 um, the necessity to go through a, a, a fairly rigorous research phase, which I wouldn't normally do, and then also the, the time scale of, of actually getting something into 10 minutes is, is quite demanding. Okay, thank you very much. And finally, Michelle, if you'd like to tell us what of you obviously you had as you like it. So, uh, what challenges did you feel that you faced working from your Shakespeare extract on as you like it? Uh, I haven't got much previous knowledge of Shakespeare other than many years ago in school. Um, so it's really about understanding the language and getting um, underneath the skin of it, the, the themes and, and things like that uh, that were happening um, in the play. There was a lot of research on that and uh, reading up about that. Um, and what about, how, do you feel like it's helped you develop as a playwright working yeah, on yeah, this project? Yeah, I've, um, enjoyed, well, I've really enjoyed sort of learning how about, about developing themes um, within the writing um, and how 
and style, because mine's quite, I wanted to get a fairy tale feel, so it's about exploring that style of writing as well and, and researching about fairy tales and structures of fairy tales, which is really interesting and learnt quite a lot about, about that. So about developing themes and, and stylized sort of writing, um, uh, I've learnt quite a bit about that and, and the, then the redrafting and the revision of the script as well and sort of lots of practice at that and responding to feedback, so that's always useful practice to have, so uh, yeah. Great. Thank you very much, everybody. So that's it. The final Natural Shocks meeting and delivery date is the 1st of May. So see you all again soon. Thank you very much.